My name is James Isles. I'm an artist and illustrator and uh, my job has been to illustrate an adventure in statistics, the reality enigma. So I, I work mostly on, I guess, storyboards is what I, I do most commonly, uh, storyboards for TV and for film. Uh, so my job is usually to, to get a script and then break that down to uh, everything that the director will want to film and essentially draw everything out, it's almost like a, like a comic strip. So it's a way of, um, of planning all the, all the shots that they want to get. My involvement with the reality enigma was to turn Andy's vision of the, the fictional story into a visual form uh, as, a graphic, as a series of uh, graphic novel uh, panels. Working on the textbook project um, was surprisingly quite similar to some of the other projects I've done um, due to the fact that it, it shared that sort of science fiction background, uh, which in the beginning I wasn't quite sure how it would work. Uh, as I'm used to working with really, really good, um, fortunately, really, really good uh, science fiction scripts um, from, some, from some great writers. But I wasn't disappointed at all in, in what Andy did with the, with the fictional storyline. From the beginning, it was, it, it was very gripping. And some of his descriptions, um, especially of the, the sort of the world he created, which is a, it's a futuristic world, but it's not a bleak view of the future. It's, although it's a very, I think, a very conflicted, um, uh, you know, very sort of, um, there are lots of contrasts within the world, you know, so it's not one uniform society, but that's one of the things that makes it really interesting. Uh, so there was lots of, there were lots of great descriptions uh, for an illustrator to work with. One of the great things I think uh, Andy's managed to achieve with the book is in his blending of the fictional storyline with the, the academic content. Uh, specifically Zach's journey through the book. So in a similar way to Zach, uh, as he begins his journey, he, he doesn't know the first thing about statistics and uh, doesn't really want to uh, and doesn't see any reason why he needs to learn anything about the, the subject between uh, now and his death. And uh, that's something as an illustrator that I could kind of relate to going into the project. Uh, but. When you, when you sort of um, start reading the book, um, I, I found lots of parallels between Zach's, Zach's journey and, and uh, my own life, specifically how uh, his partner is a, a genetics uh, genius and he finds it hard to relate to her and um, finds it difficult to sort of study her, her field. Uh, and I can relate that to, to my own life in a, in a certain way in the sense that um, my wife uh, is a Finnish speaker, uh, or she, her, native, her native language is Finnish, and it's the most difficult language in the world uh, to me. Um, but when, you know, when she explains it to me and when you really focus on it, you can kind of, you feel like you're making some ground. And I felt like as soon as you go into the, the storyline in uh, An Adventure in Statistics, that, um, yeah, I could, I could really sympathize and, and sort of understand and it, it almost made me want to, it, it automatically drew me into the, 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 the sort of uh, process of learning the, the academic content. In, in the beginning, you know, early on in the story, uh, Zach finds himself sort of, his, his attention wanders a little bit from time to time. But then he's able to bring himself back and ultimately learn at the end of each chapter, you know, he's made, he's, he's surprised that he's made some progress. Uh, and yeah, as an illustrator, I found myself surprised to be taking in some statistics knowledge as I went along.